Looking for a true wireless earbuds that has all day long battery life and maybe something durable for outdoor sports work, the Tenski Flypods that is priced just under 40 USD is one to consider. It also has fancy feature which I fancy as well. The Flypod comes in black, blue and champagne colour option. The pebble shaped design is mostly matte finish with the glossy accent on the rim and on the back right here is the type C charging port. Opening the case requires two hand operation and it's plenty of finger space to remove the earbuds in and out of the case. You're greeted with this LCD screen to show how much juice is left in terms of the number digits right here in the charging case as well as the bars indicating how much juice is left on each earbuds right here. And looking at the earbuds in a closer view right here, it is mostly glossy finish around with some silver accent right here and matte finish on the touch sensor bud. Now each earbuds right here is IPX5 water resistant and each weighs 4.1 grams. Together with the charging case, the entire package is 44 grams. Now aside from that, the package also comes included as follow. A very short length type A to type C charging cable right here with orange accents in the middle two extra pairs of ear tips sizes as well as a user manual. In the event you lose your manual, you can come back to this video, play and pause this section to understand the control function for the touch sensor. On to the microphone test, currently what you're listening to is the earbuds microphone right here, recorded on the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the Bowman app set at the highest beat depth and beat rate. So, let's play one, two, three, pink fluffy unicorn, dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. I like vanilla ice cream mixed with caramel syrup, maple syrup, and a little bit of chunks of cookie dough. That's how I like my ice cream. So this is how I sound like for conversations and call. Let's go back into the main review. When it comes to charging from empty to full, the charging case takes under 2 hours, whereas the earbuds take slightly above 1.5 hours to do so. At fully charged, the earbuds is rated to last 7 hours of playback, and the case right here provides additional 33 hours for a total of 40 hours of playback. Our test is based on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. At the 4th volume bar, we got a total of 33 hours and 50 minutes. The earbuds uses Bluetooth 5.1 for connectivity with support for AAC as well as SBC codec back with the 8mm dynamic driver. Our test is based on the Xiaomi 12 around the 6th volume mark. The base packs good amount of power with a smooth, buttery long fit. The subtle vibrations can be felt. It's well bodied, however, the base does it into the mids and the highs. When it comes to the mids or the vocals, it do sound a little bit pushback, lacking the clarity it needs to sound a little bit sharper. Currently, it sounds a little bit too dreamy, a little bit muffled or too warm. When it comes to the highs or instrumental, it's the warm tone type with a decent amount of clarity, it feels natural. However, when the highs and lows are played simultaneously, it's audibly the same sounding, so it can be a little bit distracting right there. The earbuds here have a strong V-shaped sound profile where the bass and highs do sound good clear however the mids and the vocals do sound a little bit pushed back this is suitable for bass hits and bass focus songs or people who likes to watch streaming content like netflix and hbo max where the sound effects is important this is suitable for that kind of content now the number one feature i like about the flypods right here that i don't see many expensive true wireless earbuds in the market doing it is definitely the LCD screen right here. The percentage to show the charge level in the case and the bars to show how much juice is left on each earbuds right here. Now expensive IEMs, they don't need to have the LCD screen because they have a phone app but there are many brands who are expensive, don't have the phone app, don't even show how much juice like this LCD right here. And this is coming from a budget brand and I would say this is a number one gimmick that I actually find it useful. So that's all my take on the Flypods right here. I would recommend it since of its affordability. If you're interested to purchase this particular earbuds, I'll leave links in the video description. Remember to like, subscribe to our channel for more true wireless earbuds like this. I'll review another budget one shortly. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next one.